So let's next move on to the next exercise. Wow, so many exercise. Suppose I will ask you to do it on yourself. Okay, but I will show you the idea. I give you the template and then you have to solve it on your own. Okay, so I'll just give you the idea. Alright, so three years after receiving their degree, graduates from UMP have reported the annual salary rate to the HR office. Sample one representing graduates who are with consulting firms. Okay, this one is consulting firm. And sample 2 consisting of graduate who are with national level. So sample 2 is national level. Assuming normal population with equal variance. Test the claim made by HR office. That means salary sample 1 is more than sample 2 by at least 40,000 at 3% significant level. So from the question, you must know how to extract the information. So here is your sample 1, sample 2. Sample size, the notation for sample size is N. Average, average is sample mean, X bar. Standard deviation is S. Okay, what is the information give to you? They give to you 3% means that alpha 0 0.03. And then they give you here, assuming normal population with equal variant. So, sigma 1 square equals to sigma 2 square. N 31, 35. N greater than 30. Alright. Test the claim. Okay, what is the claim? Test the claim. Apa dia claim? HR office. That means salary sample 1. Mean sample 1 more than sample 2 more than sample 2 by at least at least rm 40000 so from here we can write down mean sample 1 more than sample 2 by at least RM 40,000 So at least the symbol is this one Sekurang-kurangnya 40,000 So Lebih besar atau sama dengan 40,000 Right So what is your H null and H1? H null H1 At least At least the symbol is greater than N Equal, so you put at H null. Alright, so mu1 greater than mu2. So, mu1 minus mu2. So, here, mu1 minus mu2 greater than and equals to 40,000 is your mu null. 40,000. So, if H null greater than N equals, H1 is less than mu1 minus mu2 less than 40,000. Okay, this exercise is a little bit different from previous. Okay, you should understand one by one because the claim said that mean salary 1 more than salary 2 by at least 40,000. Mean salary 1 more than mean salary 2 means that mu 1 greater than mu 2. So, mu 1 minus mu 2. So, by at least, at least the symbol is here for H null. So, you put here. Okay. So, I think you can proceed for step number 2. This one is step number 1. Step number 2. Which formula you want to use? So, this is the information. Sigma 1 square equals to sigma 2 square and greater than 30. So, sigma 1 square equals to sigma 2 square is here. Either 2 by n is greater than 30. So, you should use this formula. Z test. Okay. So, here is Z test. So, find your Z test. 
Okay, step number three. One tail or two tail. So, H1 less than. So, one tail left. So, you will have here one tail left. Negative sign. Z alpha. Berapa? Okay, find it on yourself. Okay, step number four. Reject or accept H0. Do it on your own. And step number five, your conclusion. At alpha 0 0.03, dot, 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 dot. Okay, try on your own. Good luck. If there is any question, you can just PM me. Alright, the last exercise, 5.3b, number 3. See, the same goes to this one. I will just give you the template. I will just give you the hypothesis. You have to do it on your own. Okay, let's do it. Number 3, an experiment was conducted to compare the strength of two different brands of denim bag. A random sample of 50 bags of brand A and a random sample for 45 bags of brand B. So, there's two brands here. Brand A and brand B. So, brand A, how many samples? 50. Brand B, how many samples? 45 bags. Brand A gave an average strength of 20 kilograms. So, X bar is 20. With a sample standard deviation for while brand B gave an average of 25 kilogram and a standard deviation 5 kilogram. Can we conclude at 0 0.03 level significant? So alpha 0 0.03 that the strength of brand A okay, strength of brand A exceeds B by more than 2 kilogram. Okay, here, exit B. A exit B by more than 2 kilogram. Assuming the population to purpose may be unequal variance. So, sigma 1 square not equals to sigma 2 square. So, from this statement, what is your hypothesis? Can you try? What is your hypothesis? It's just like the previous example. Strength of brand A means that mu A exceed B. Exceed B by more than 2. Here is your mu naught. Mu naught equals to 2. So, mu A exceed mu B means that mu A minus mu B more than 2. H0 or H1, this one, more than H1. So, mu brand A minus mu brand B more than 2. So, the opposite will be mu A minus mu B less than and equals to 2. This is step number 1. Okay, can you proceed? It's step number 2. Step 2. Which formula you want to use? They give you sigma 1 not equals to sigma 2. They give you n greater than 30. So look at the formula. You cannot use this one. So unequal, right? So either this formula or this formula. n greater than 30. So you should do use this formula. Z test. So the formula is Z test. Find it. And step 3. One tail or two tail? One tail right. One tail right. Check the region on the right. Put the plus sign. So Z alpha. And proceed with step number 4 and step number 5. Good luck guys. Thank you.